Throughout the history of the NHL, there has always been violence on the ice. The St. Patrick's Day Maurice Richard riot of March 17, 1955, in which the rocket was suspended for striking a linesman, was probably the most notorious. Another would be the Good Friday Massacre, a second round matchup during the 1984 Stanley Cup playoffs. The game occurred on Good Friday, April 20th, 1984, between the Quebec Nordiques and the Montreal Canadiens in Montreal. A total of 252 penalty minutes were incurred and 11 players were ejected. As severe as these incidents were, no player other than Billy Kachu of the 1927 Boston Bruins has ever been banned for on-ice violence. Billy Kachu, nicknamed Wild Beaver, remains the only player to be banned by the NHL for life after attacking a referee in a game between his Boston Bruins and the Ottawa Senators. Born on October 1, 1892 in North Bay, Ontario, Kachu began his professional hockey career in 1916. He was known for his aggressive playing style and numerous on-ice altercations. Billy Kachu was a tough customer during his professional hockey playing days. He played in 244 contests, racking up 478 penalty minutes along the way. He played for several teams, including the Montreal Canadiens, Hamilton Tigers, and Boston Bruins. He won the Stanley Cup with the Canadiens in 1924. Kachu's physical style of play often led to his involvement in fights and suspensions. Before the bench-clearing brawl of 1927, Kachu had already established himself as a reckless and dangerous player. One notable incident was when he was traded to Boston for the 1926-27 season. During his first practice with the team, Kachu body slammed the equally notorious Eddie Shore. Kachu headbutted Shore on impact and nearly completely severed Shore's ear. At the end of Game 4 of the 1927 Stanley Cup Finals, between the Ottawa Senators and the Boston Bruins, Billy Kachu of the Bruins instigated a bench-clearing brawl at the request of his coach, Art Ross. Kachu attacked referee Jerry Laflamme and tackled referee Billy Bell in the hallway. The ensuing punishment was a lifetime ban from playing in the NHL, the longest suspension until then. Later in 1929-30, the ban was lifted. And in 1932-33, Billy Kachu was reinstated at the request of Montreal Canadiens owner Leo Dandurand, allowing Kachu to play in minor professional leagues, where he played with the Minneapolis Millers and the Providence Reds and coached for several years. The suspension made him the first player in NHL history to be banned for life. He never played in another NHL game after the brawl in Boston in 1927. Billy Kachu's legacy is one of intense physicality a willingness to go to great lengths to defend his team. His playing style and uncompromising attitude have left a lasting impact on the game of ice hockey. As it turned out, the April 13, 1927 game at the Ottawa Auditorium was the last Stanley Cup Finals game in Ottawa until the June 2, 2007 game played at Scotia Bank Place between the current Ottawa Senators and the Anaheim Ducks. Hey hockey fans, if you like this content, please punch that subscribe button and support the channel. You can also follow my blog at https.tedtalkshockey.com and remember to keep your stick on the ice. If you are in the market for high quality defunct NHL jerseys, check out Royal Retros. I'll leave the link in the description. Thanks for watching.